Hey guys, welcome to another video. I want to make a quick, quick review on some socks that I got. Let's check them out. Let's check them out. If you haven't noticed by the video title, you guys already know, I got some grip socks for soccer specifically in my use. I'm sure you can use them for anything else, but I'm literally reviewing these because I've always watched reviews for you um, from Josh, you know, soccer reviews. He does cleat reviews. He does all kinds of reviews for soccer related things. And I always was super intrigued by his grip socks. Now I have owned a pair of true socks and the Nike crew socks that are obviously grippy. The They have like that Nike grip in them. And true socks are obviously like the, like the highest potential. They're the best of the best. Love them. You love them. You love them. And you love them. I mean, true socks are great, but they're so expensive. They're literally a pair, just one pair is $50 plus tax and shipping and all that. So that's a ton of money. And I decided to go with these guys and check them out. So let's unbox them together. And then I'll tell you guys my first impressions of wearing them out on the field. So here's the package, obviously nothing crazy. I got myself seven pairs because I'm a wild man. <laughs> and I did get them. Here they are, the Pure Grip Socks Pros. And I got them in the all new white colorway. So there they are, Pure Grip Socks Medium. And I'm a foot size seven and a half, so um, I figured seven to nine and a half US would be perfect for me. They do come in this really nice packaging. I do actually like this a lot. Look at that. Awesome. Well, let's unbox them. They all look the same. So let's get in them and let's check them out. All right, opening this pair, I went with like the all white and this is their new version, their version two of the grip sock. Apparently they are a lot better. And I apologize for the messy desk guys. I'm working here, but here they are. So you can tell since they are the white on white, they don't say pure down the line, uh, down the sock very visibly. Um, it's like a light, light gray that you can see. And you have, um, it says pure. And then here's the grip. Here's the left one. Kind of nice how they tell us. It's gonna be confusing to make sure I'm wearing the right ones, but this is extremely grippy. Already putting this in my hand. Woof, they are grippy grip. In regards to the texture, it really reminds me of like the Adidas sock I have. And I'll show you right now on screen. So this is the Adidas sock I usually wear, no grip. Just really love like the thickness of an Adidas sock because my feet are really narrow. So sometimes just having a thicker sock always just feels really good to fill in my cleats. So I would say, yeah. Pretty much the same here. Yeah, they feel really identical on the upper. Obviously this is stiffer because, or the socks just overall stiffer because it's newer. But in regards to how they overall feel, they feel the same thickness as the Adidas sock. Yeah, 100%. Maybe just a tad bit thicker. Like I said, it probably would feel the same thickness if the Dia sock was brand, brand new. But based off of my memory, how the Dia sock felt is exactly how this feels. Now I do have a Nike sock. This is the dry fit sock. So no grip on the bottom, but they do have, um, the Nike sock is thinner for me, personally speaking, especially the dry fit ones. Uh, so these are great, obviously. You're just chilling, but no grip on the bottom. Going back to the Nike sock, which is here. If you could tell the Nike one does have more of that midline stretch there, which I personally do like. These do too. It's really apparent that they have it. The Adidas socks doesn't have that. It does have those like lines for the stretch, but it's not as apparent like the Nike and the Pure Sock is. Um, but still, overall thickness and everything in comparison to the Adidas and Nike socks, I would give it to the Adidas one. They're just as thick as the Adidas, but obviously the grip. 
I'm gonna get a closer shot for you guys in regards to the grip. So obviously we have it all in the forefoot there. Super grippy, I mean, look at this. This is grippy. I wonder how they hold up in the wash, but you have the L there. The L is also grippy. Then obviously kind of stints out in the mid foot area and in the heel, you also have that same grip, but it doesn't go up the entire heel or Achilles area. So it kind of just sits on the bottom of your foot. I'm gonna go ahead and try these on for you guys so you guys can see it on feet. Alrighty, here they are guys. You can probably hear the stickiness right away. It's kind of crazy. They are super, super comfy. They definitely remind me of the Adidas ones. But now that I have them on feet, they're not as thick as the Adidas. Almost as thick, but not exactly. Let's take a look at them around. It's really hard to see the pure back there, but I do like that. Because obviously I just don't like branding too much. So minimal branding, I think looks super slick. See the gray in there. That midfoot area. Yeah, I'm just gonna go on the field, try these on for you guys, and then I'll give you guys my impressions. But so far, so good. They feel definitely like a regular sock. Definitely fit more of like a size nine because the length here is pretty long. And other than that, I am not complaining. They feel really good. I wonder if there's a difference between left and right. I'll tell you guys after I play in them. All right, let's go ahead and review these. All righty, guys, it's freezing cold out here. I shouldn't even be out here, darn it. I'm wearing my Addy Zeros because these are the ones that give me the worst lockdown. So let's see if they're any good with these grip socks. So let's do it. All right, guys, I just got back from playing. That was a whole ton of fun. I love playing soccer, man. I just love it. But here are the socks again, guys. I'll make a... Oh, dang, they're dirty. All right, that's what you gotta love about white. But I would give these, like, um... Woo! Tricky, tricky. But I would give them, like, an 8 out of 10 for grip socks. Like, 8 out of 10 for sure. Maybe even 8.5. Um, I just have to check the durability... Um, that's really what's going to make it worth it because True Socks, they also are, like, I would give True Socks like 10 out of 10 for sure, even though like 11 out of 10. The only bad thing about True Socks is that their durability is not good. Like after a couple washes, they go straight to crap. So hopefully these will be a really good alternative. They're really cheap. Um, relatively speaking for like grip socks, you'll see that a lot of the markets really really expensive for them so uh you know i think they're like 16 dollars. i'll throw it down in the description box if you guys can check it out which ones exactly i got but like i said if these are durable enough after a couple washes and it lasts me like a year then 16 dollars is really nothing like just putting it out there i really do think that 16 dollars is nothing if these are able to last and be durable for at least a year. I really think they're going to be good socks though. Still give them an 8 out of 10. I'm really actually pretty pumped to continue wearing these. So my lockdown in the Addy Zeros has been horrendous ever since I've gotten them. They just stretched out, especially on my left foot for some reason. It happens apparently. But nothing that i could do about like sizing down or anything that would have been like impossible i already sized down i'm like a size eight i always wear seven and a half because i want them to be like molded so i don't think sizing down would have resolved the issue but needless to say with the socks they have been a i've been able to like wear them i've been able to completely wear them which is awesome it's something i've never been able to say so i'm super happy about them like i gotta say Double thumbs up for me. I was able to wear them. I could definitely wear them in a game. I could definitely wear them for practicing. That's how much grip I got. I didn't get like too much heel slippage. I got it here and there, but that's pretty normal 
with both socks if you just wear normal socks. So if you had cleats that had really good lockdown and you were wearing these, then you'd be solid, man. You'd be super good. But for cleats that have really bad lockdown, I think there's a really good alternative to still be able to wear your cleats and be happy, um, especially for the price. I think uh, what Josh is doing is fantastic. So keep it up. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a month review after, so stay tuned for that. After a couple washes, I'll let you know if they're still worth it, but for right now, eight out of 10 for me. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend, and I love you guys. Peace. Wow, guys, I just wanted to give a future, I don't know, this is from the future, Antonio. I just played a couple of hours of soccer today with the Pure Grip Socks and they're amazing. Super hard to get on your cleats because they're already super grippy, but wow, I am impressed. I'm gonna go buy a couple more pairs. I bought five, literally gave one pair to my brother because I was so impressed. I gave another pair to my wife. So I'm only left with three right now because I did order um, I did order five of them. I'm gonna go order another five because I'm so impressed. I really like them. Good job, Josh, man. I'm impressed. Five out of five for me, 10 out of 10. Seriously, really, really nice. They're awesome. I, I'm impressed. Seriously, I'm not making this up. I'm gonna go buy another pair, a couple pairs.